dear student let us discuss this uh, stellan morris question it is from the past paper i think september 15 and december 15 uh, we'll be solving this question stellan morris uh, according to the finance act 2021 that's great the new finance act wow let's attempt this question it gives you 10 marks okay let's let me explain this just a minute let us read the requirement first calculate stella's income after tax and pension contribution for the tax year 2223 if she does contribute 90000 gross into her personal pension scheme we need to calculate stella's income but after income tax as well as after she has contributed in ppc let's solve read the question your firm assume today's date is 3rd june 2022 your firm has been asked to provide advice to two unrelated clients stella and morris stella requires advice on tax implication of making increased contribution to her personal pension scheme so right now we are solving question for stella not for morris later on we'll see the morris as well stella is resident and domicile in the uk whoever is resident and domicile in the uk that individual will have to pay tax on his or her world wide income receives a gross salary of 2 lakh 3000 pound wow in the tax year 2223 this was substantially increased on the previous year does not have an occupational pension she does not have any occupational pension plan has property income from a portfolio of unfurnished property totaling 92000 in the tax year 2223 uh, by looking at these figures salary 203000 property income 92000 i believe in uk only one person is earning and uh, her name is stella has no other source of taxable income obviously after having these uh two incomes she does not need any other source of income okay let's move ahead wishes to make an increased contribution to her personal pension scheme in the tax year 22 23 okay personal pension scheme contribution stella has contributed 40000 gross to her personal pension scheme in each of the tax years 2122 and 2021 and 30000 gross in each of the tax year 1920 and 1890 okay examiner is telling us that in the tax year 2122 and 2021 she has contributed 40000 in 1920 1919 she has contributed 30 okay The full annual allowance without restriction was available for the tax year 1819 till this. Previously, Stella was having full annual allowance without restriction means uh, previously she was having entire 40,000 annual allowance limit. Previously that limit was not reduced. Without restriction means previously she never faced she never faced reduction in annual allowance limit which is 40000 for pension so without restriction means previously 40000 was available as 40 stella wishes to increase contribution now she in the tax, current tax year which is 2223 in this question she wants to go for gross ppc 90000 so let's let us first simply calculate income tax liability and then slowly and gradually we'll see what we need to do let's go for income tax liability we just need to calculate income tax liability employment income they have given us 2 lakh 3000 employment income property income is 92000 so here comes 
total income i do not have any other income so 203 plus 92 gives me 295000 we need to deduct personal allowance but i have to check how much personal allowance stella is going to get after deducting personal allowance we will have taxable income so now let us check uh let us check personal allowance how much personal allowance stella can get i'm doing working here working one total income is 295000 which is obviously the net income 295 actually we need to calculate adjusted net income because if adjusted net income is more than 1 lakh then personal allowance starts reducing okay from this net income we need to deduct gross ppc let's deduct gross ppc of the current year which is 90000 so i'm getting 205 adjusted net income is 205 now listen and listen carefully any individual who is having adjusted net income more than equal to 125140 gets personal allowance zero so we'll tell our examiner ani is more than 125140 therefore personal allowance is zero repeat In Finance Act 2021, any individual who is having adjusted net income more than one lakh twenty-five thousand one forty, or even equal to one twenty-five one forty, gets personal allowance zero. Why? Let me explain that also. Actually, the personal allowance is one two five seven zero. Let's say if someone is having adjusted net income of one lakh twenty-five thousand one forty, let's see what happens. I'm just explaining you. Otherwise, I don't need this for the question. One two five one four zero minus one lakh. You have to take fifty percent of this. So obviously zero. So personal allowance is going to be zero. So entire income is taxable income. Okay. Now we need to check that basic rate band and higher rate band will increase by what amount? So let us check working two. Band, basic and higher rate band, they will increase by lower of. Number one is gross PPC in the current year, which is ninety thousand. Second is higher of higher of three thousand six hundred, and total of the relevant earnings. In relevant earnings, we consider three earnings. One is employment income, second is trading income, and the third is income from furnished holiday letting. Repeat. In relevant earnings, we consider three earnings: higher of total of relevant earnings, so relevant earnings. Number one is trading profit. Second, income from furnished holiday letting. Third, we have employment income. So total of relevant earnings means trading profit, income from furnished holiday letting, and the last one is obviously employment income. Okay. In this question, we have just employment income. Two zero three. We do not have any other income. 
सो हायर ऑफ थर्टी सिक्स हंड्रेड एंड टू जीरो थ्री इज ऑब्वियसली टू जीरो थ्री लुक इट इज लोअर ऑफ ग्रॉस पीपीसी एंड टू जीरो थ्री सो इट्स ऑब्वियसली नाइनटी थाउजेंड विच मीन्स दैट बेसिक रेट बैंड एंड हायर रेट बैंड विल इंक्रीज बाय नाइनटी थाउजेंड वर्किंग थ्री बेसिक रेट बैंड थर्टी सेवन थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड प्लस नाइनटी थाउजेंड let me use my calculator it is 127700 higher rate band is obviously 150 plus 90000 240 so basic rate band limit is now 127700 and higher rate band goes till 240 so let's calculate income tax liability income tax liability working to i believe basic rate non saving goes to 127700 into 20% so it is uh, 25540 okay higher it actually higher rate band is 240 this is working 3 not 2 okay So from two lakh forty thousand, you need to deduct one lakh twenty seven thousand seven hundred. From two lakh forty thousand, from two forty, I need to deduct one lakh twenty seven thousand seven hundred. So I am getting one lakh twelve thousand three hundred into forty percent. It gives me four four nine two zero. But actually, my taxable income is far more than even two forty. so any amount over and above 240 it, it falls in additional rate band where the tax rate is 45% so taxable income is 295000 so far we have tax 240000 so from 295 if i deduct 240 i will get 55000 additional rate We have taxable income of two lakh ninety five thousand. From this two ninety five, if I shall deduct two forty, which I have tax, so I I am getting fifty five, and this fifty five actually falls in additional rate band, additional rate and tax rate is forty five percent. If I take forty five percent of fifty five thousand, it is two four seven five zero. That's simply great. Now we need to check for annual allowance charge. Because his tele is a wealthy individual, and wealthy individual normally they get uh, normally their annual allowance limit, which is normally forty thousand. It also reduces for them. Any individual who is having threshold income more than two lakh and adjusted income more than two forty. annual allowance limit reduces for that individual so let's go for working four stella is having adjusted in uh, threshold income more than 2 lakh how do i know look at this actually in, in atx threshold income and net income format is same on uh, threshold income and adjusted net income format is same so from the net income if you deduct gross ppc you will get ani and the same thing is threshold income also so just to show you what i'm doing i'm just calculating threshold income net income is 295 gross ppc is 90 okay so you can say here is the threshold income actually threshold income must be more than 200000 
and adjusted income must be two, more than 240000 when both the conditions are met only then annual allowance limit of 40000 reduces for the current tax year now let's calculate adjusted income you have to take net income which is 295 and simply add employees contribution in occupation pension plan employees contribution in occupation pension plan which is zero because uh, Stella does not have any occupation pension plan add employers contribution in occupational pension plan which we do not have in, in this question it is also zero and you have to add employers contribution obviously for employee in PPC if employer is contributing for employee in occupational pension plan, I need to add that. If employer is also contributing in personal pension plan for the employee, I'm going to add that also, which is also zero in this question because there is nothing such thing in question. So actually, your registered in net income, your registered income is 295. So both the conditions are met. Threshold income is more than 200,000 and adjusted income is more than 240. So, for the current tax year 2223 in this question, annual allowance limit will not be 40,000 for the pension, it will reduce. So, let's calculate uh, working 5, what will be the annual allowance limit? Annual allowance. Since in the current tax year threshold income is more than 2 lakh, adjusted income is more than 240, so annual allowance limit reduces. We know that one thing very well annual allowance limit for the pension cannot be zero, it can be minimum goes to 4000. So less reduction. Two ninety five minus two forty. I have to take fifty percent of this. So two ninety five minus two forty fifty percent of this. It is twenty seven thousand five hundred. So current year annual allowance limit is just twelve thousand five hundred. Okay. Now, dear student, listen and listen carefully. What is that? If we have previously any unused limit of annual allowance, then unused limit of annual allowance can be carried forward for three tax year, and it is used on five four basis. Repeat. Unused annual allowance limit can be carried forward for three tax years and it is used on FIFO basis or FIFO basis. So now let us check how much unused limit we have in the previous three tax years. If we have any unused limit in the previous three tax years, it will be added in this 12,500. Unused annual allowance. In previous three tax years. And it is used on FIFO basis. Let me explain now this. 
from 22 to 23 you need to go three years back you will be at 21 22 2021-1920. From 22 23, if you go three years back, it's going to be 21 22, 20, 21, and 1920. Okay. And as I mentioned earlier, unused limit of annual allowance can be carried forward for three tax years and it is used on five for basis so number one i'll be using unused limit of 1920 then i'm going to use unused limit of 2021 and finally i'm going to use unused limit of 2122 unused limit of 1819 is irrelevant why it is irrelevant for us because only three tax years only unused limit of annual allowance can be carried forward for three tax years the current tax year is 22 23 from 22 23 if i go three years back so i'll end up reaching 1920 i cannot go till 1819 so 1819 is irrelevant okay in 1920 Obviously, the limit is 40,000 and he has contributed 30. It is written in the question. So, unused limit is 10,000. But here he has contributed 40. Stella has contributed 40. We do not have any unused limit. The same applies here. So, which means that The maximum annual allowance limit which is available in the tax year 22-23 is 22,500. The maximum annual allowance limit which is available to Stella is 22,500. But she is actually contributing gross 90,000. If she contributes more than 22,500 then excess contribution is treated as annual allowance charge. And the, on that annual allowance charge, Stella will have to pay tax. And whatever annual allowance charge comes, it will be treated as non-saving income. So actually, she wants to go for gross PPC 90,000. So there is going to be. This excess contribution is actually annual allowance charge. This annual allowance charge will be treated as non-saving income and it will be taxed by using non-saving income tax rates. This is working five. Uh, right now we are in additional rate. So which means working five annual allowance charge 67500 into 45 percent annual allowance charge will be taxed at the end uh, by using non-saving tax rates if i take 45 percent of 67500 you need to use the calculator 67,500 into 45 percent, it gives me 30,375. So let's calculate income tax liability now. So you just need to add 25540 plus 44920 plus. 24750 plus 30375, it gives us 1,25,585. Great. But this is not the final answer. They have asked us to calculate Stella's income after tax and after contribution. So let's calculate that. Mm. 
Stella's income after tax and pension contribution after tax and pension contribution she is having income of 295000 her income is 295 let us deduct income tax liability we have just calculated Our income tax liability is one lakh twenty-five thousand five eighty-five. We need to deduct pension contribution as well. Less pension contribution. So it is ninety thousand gross. We have to take eighty percent of this. It becomes seventy-two. Question: Why you are not deducting, sir? Ninety thousand. Actually, ninety thousand is the gross PPC. In PPC, what happens? Whatever individual contributes, it is eighty percent and twenty percent is actually paid by HMRC. So, ninety thousand is not the actual cash outflow of Stella. The actual outflow is only seventy-two thousand. So, we are not supposed to deduct gross PPC because that gross PPC amount is not the outflow. Actual outflow of Stella is only seventy-two thousand. So that is why I took eighty percent of this ninety thousand. Two lakh ninety-five minus one two five five eight five minus seventy-two thousand. So it gives us ninety-seven thousand four hundred and fifteen. This is income. After tax and pension contribution. That's simply great. Uh, I I strongly believe you people. Uh, I strongly believe you people must have enjoyed this lecture. Uh, if you, uh, whoever is watching this lecture on obviously YouTube. If you or maybe on Facebook, if you really want to join our classes, my classes are available uh, in both the languages, that is Urdu, Hindi, and English as well. In ATX, I have uh, Alhamdulillah seven. So far, I have produced seven position holders. So it means someone is having seven positions in ATX. So if you join us, so you will be in safe hands. Normally, uh, in my ATX. Each lecture is of around 45 minutes. I believe 45 minutes is a digestible time, which a student can easily digest the knowledge. And normally, I go for 72 classes, where each class is of 45 minutes, which means that if I multiply this with 0.75 hours, it becomes 54 hours. Okay. Then from 73, I go till 105. In this, I solve Kaplan grid question. In each lecture, you'll be getting one complete question of Kaplan grid. So, which means that all together there is going to be from 73 till 105. You will be having 33. You would say including the 73 as well. Thirty-three lectures, practice videos, practice questions, and again, each lecture will be around forty-five minutes, which means zero point seven five hours. It means if I multiply this with zero point seven five also, so I'm getting twenty-four point seven five. So entire course is going to be 
78.75 hours or maybe it goes till 80 hours but to be very honest even you have just seen uh seven first 72 lectures because in first 72 lectures i complete my entire atx course and after that obviously all the practice which we do need most of the question i solve on excel and of the and some of the question I do solve on CB platform as well. So the student should be having a really good idea of the CB platform. Then all my enrolled students, uh, wherever they get stuck in ATX, they can always ask the question on WhatsApp. And uh, I try my best to give a reply as soon as possible. Once you join us, so I'll be giving you my compile book. Normally, I follow my compile book and kit. We strictly follow Kaplan kit. So, any other question if you want to ask, you can always ask question. But do join our YouTube channel so that whenever a new video comes, you will be having the advantage to see that video first. Having said that, let me give my institute uh, WhatsApp number. The code is plus 92 0333366214. That's a WhatsApp number. You can contact us. And I personally, Abdeel Ahmed, I teach Alhamdulillah F5, F6, F7, F9, SBR, ATX, and AFM. These are the few papers which I teach. In F9 and AFM, I have world positions, Alhamdulillah. In F5, I have position in Pakistan. In F6, I have position in Pakistan. In F7, I have position in F F7 as well in Pakistan. In F9, I have position in worldwide as well. In ATX, I have one position in Pakistan, six position outside the Pakistan. In SBR, altogether three positions in Pakistan, AFM. I have Alhamdulillah world position and many other positions and recently uh, recently uh, in December 2021 the top affiliate the top third affiliate in Pakistan is also my student so that's simply great so uh, by telling all these things means if you're joining us so simply you will be in safe hands uh, after joining us you will never regret that's for sure and let me tell you one more thing i always teach from scratch i always assume that my students they do not carry any previous knowledge so that's why i teach from scratch so thanks a lot for watching this lecture if you have any further queries i have given my institute whatsapp number you can always contact us thanks a lot